Hello? You're muted. Uh, just look at the screen. There's a mute. There's a just have to tap the mute button to unmute yourself. Just look at the screen. There's a mic. There's a mic, and it. There you go. Now there you go. Now talk. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Now I can hear you. Okay. So before we get into this debate, I'm going to read chat your comment that you made, which prompted this whole thing, just so that we everybody's on the same page. So. You commented, you commented on my newest YouTube video and said, and I quote, I mean, Spookinjukes has been very toxic himself on many occasions. It's rather odd that he acts as if being toxic is something he's entitled to criticize them for. He reminds me so much of the famously hypocritical Aaron Duke. Funnily enough, when I exposed Aaron Duke, he was so embarrassed he stopped posting videos, even though he, that wasn't even my intention. Okay, so, um... Before we begin, I know you said you didn't want any of your information um, given out, which is totally understandable. Uh, what should I address you as, or, or how should I address you? Uh, you can just call me Blake. Blake, got it. Okay, Blake, so I'm going to give you the floor. Uh, I would love for you to tell me uh, how I have been very toxic on many occasions. Okay, so what I would say is toxic and hypocritical, would you say would you say they're pretty similar? Or that being hypocritical, it can be toxic? Sure. I mean, depending on the scenario, I would. I mean, yeah. I don't. I don't think that I've been hypocritical. So I guess if you want to start there, you can um, point out how okay, I've been well, hypocritical. Yeah. Well, let's put it this way. Would you say it was would be hypocritical to criticize, say, one group of people, and then not criticize another group for doing the same thing? Um, if the, if it was the same situation and somebody had reached out to me about the same things, um, I don't think that there's been any group of people that I have intentionally intentionally left out or not criticized. Um, but if you have a case for that I have done that, then tell me. Okay, so um, I mean we could start with either one. Um, did you want to do the Bearbach audio or the Motherwellen one, or like which one do you have available? Okay, so. First off, I'll pull it up right now. Um, I'll just I'll just play the video here. This is a video he's referring to, um, which is um, I don't know if you're are you watching my stream? Um, no, I'm watching the Discord. Okay. So make sure my mic stays. Got it. Uh, well, on my stream, I have it pulled up. Um, this is an older video that I have privated. Twitch partner belittles smaller streamers. Now, in this video, there is a streamer here. Uh, a lot of you guys will remember this video. This streamer um, had, you know, did the classic pulling up profiles, shaming smaller streamers and such. And I took this video down for two reasons. One reason, uh, which is the reason I took down a lot of my older videos, most of my TTV police videos, because I didn't blur out the name. Most of the, uh, all the videos where I did not hide people's names, I took them all down, uh, whether they're straight, gay, male, female, doesn't matter. Uh, took them down. The other reason was because this person reached out to me, they were rebranding and they changed the way that they were acting. So that was the second reason. But even if they hadn't done that, I probably would have taken it down anyway, just like the other ones I've taken down. Uh, I mean, we could just start, well, we could just start there. Okay, so you're saying that me taking down this video is hypocritical, right? No, I just wanted you to play the video first. What is the, the audio? What is the, the what is the purpose of me playing the video? The, well, the purpose is to show you know like what happened. I just explained to everybody what happened that they shamed smaller streamers, right? Right, but you said you were gonna play the audio. Do you remember our conversation? Yes, but does me playing the audio give any more context, or does it just show him shaming the smaller streamers? It it, it will later when I show another person doing something similar. And you're not doing the same. And this guy's a streamer as well. Okay, killer. I'm playing it right now. This guy is okay, literally great, so embarrassing. Well, that's why his streams can fail, so. I'm still the one who's actually successful with stream, and she's the one crying on Twitter. Put me in a YouTube video. <laughs> oh, and there's me dancing. All right, I just played the full intro, which the intro was entirely him shaming a smaller streamer and saying, that's why I have more viewers and you don't have any... Is that sufficient, or do I need to play the entire 20-minute video? I mean, yeah, no, I guess that's sufficient. If you did, you play everything that like he said. Okay, what? Where is the example? Can you? What is your example that I can show that uh, that I didn't call out? Well, you got. 
spooks you, you said you would play and so i gotta know what you played I, I mean here hold on let me just let me go to your stream and then that'll be easier so i'll just know what you played and not i'm just trying to focus on one device and okay is it on youtube or twitch all right i just i don't i don't understand the pushback here you're trying to insinuate that there is something you're going to show that somebody did the same thing as this person and I've just shown and explained that this person was really okay. toxic and viewer shamed. It, that does that not get the point across without me having to show the entire video. People, I mean, a lot of people probably remember this video. No, you don't have to show the entire video just as long as you show what, because I know most of the videos you criticizing him and I'm just saying that you showed what he said, right? Yes, I, show, I, showed, say, yeah. I showed what he said, yes. Okay, that, that's all I need. I just wanted to confirm that. So, um, and then, Later, the same. Later, you know, you went and you uh, criticized Motherwellen and called him disingenuous, but Who? you didn't delete that. Who? Motherwellen. Who is Motherwellen? You left a comment. Hold on, I'll send you a link. Yeah, send a link. Yeah, hold on. Just keep an eye on Discord, all right? Yep. I don't even I don't even recognize that name. Uh, chat. Just for context, the argument that he is overall making, to my knowledge, is that. I am giving special treatment to gay people because I took no, it. No? Spooks. Okay. Spooks, you're trying to repeat it. I'm saying you're treating some groups, but it's not just gay people. It's, all, it's in other ways too. I'm just, that was one example. Okay. So if I told okay. you, if I told you that I had about six to eight examples minimum here, just that I found in the last five minutes of videos that I took down of straight white guys, would that make any difference to you? I mean, not really, because you took them all day, but because they're, they're private. But hold on, I'm sending you now because I'm, you know, I'm trying to do one thing at a time. I'll, you, I'll address, you, you I'll, just... Yeah, I sent you the thing. Okay, so now I'll address the other part. So the other thing is, um, no, it, it has nothing to do with the videos that you've taken down. You have every right to take down any video you want, really. Um, it has more to do with the fact that the videos that you choose to leave up, you know, you know what I mean? In the where's, sense that, where's the link to the video that I left up? I just posted it. Oh, I sent you the video, huh? No, you sent me, a, yeah, you sent me a screenshot of a comment. Okay, um, hold on. Let me get the sh share button. Thought maybe the comment would help. That is the the comment is under a Fall Guys video. That's not my video. No, the comment. That no, is the comment is yours though. The comment is mine. What? That's not a video of mine though. What what video are you talking about that I didn't take down? Okay, <laughs> let me try to. You know, I'm not used to being on on streams, but let me just. Um, so basically. You were criticizing small streamers for making a video about you, but then, you know, you see what I'm saying? Uh, no. So the comment that you posted, let me, I'll, I'll pull it up for a stream. So this video is, is saying, this video is calling me out for taking this video, that video down. And I, all I pointed out in my comment was that they didn't take the time to ask me a call right, but did you see did you see the second one though that's the one i wanted you to watch the first one is the one that put some context into it the second one's the one i wanted to focus on what is the i i have not even what is this person because boots you come out and you call him saying he's being disingenuous to his followers and then he says actually no i'm not how am i being disingenuous and then you don't say anything i mean come on man you're picking on a viewer with a thousand followers calling him disingenuous I mean, I'm, I, I didn't pick on him. I didn't make a video about him or anything. I commented saying that he was saying that I deleted my video for a certain reason, which wasn't the reason that I deleted it. Spook Jukes and Manface J. The two YouTubers responsible for calling out this man both backpedal like they were in the Olympics and deleted both of their videos. Now, here are my issues with them doing this. Firstly, why the hell do these people view themselves as critics and decide to call out toxic behavior of others if they are gonna fault them? moment their video gets the slightest bit of backlash but, but, but you don't understand that saying that you know like I, sometimes i'm not hypocritical is isn't really a good argument what have i done that was hypocritical you haven't given me the example what have i done that's maybe, hypocritical? Okay, maybe i'm not explaining it properly maybe it's my fault but you're so, saying i'm hypocritical because i commented on that guy's video because i thought what he said was disingenuous how is that hypocritical I had no problem with him well, making a video about me. He he said that I deleted a video without 
knowing why I deleted the video. And he painted it in a way like, oh, he took down this video because of this, and he's he's okay with bullying, so he took down this video. It's like, no, I took down the video because his name is showing and because he rebranded and changed his name. Those are the reasons. It's disingenuous to lay something out to make your viewers think something that isn't true because he made it seem like I deleted that video or took it down for a reason that was not the reason. If he wanted to know why I deleted that video or, to, or privated the video, they could have just reached out and asked me. So, but that's the thing, Spooks. They made a second video answering all of that for you, but you didn't look at it. And so that's why I'm bringing it to your attention. And, and what did I, again, so they made a second video responding to my comment. Okay, so what, comment, yes. so what, Saying, I again, took it down for, yeah. so, so I'm asking you, what did I do or say that is hypocritical? In order for me to be a hypocrite, I would have to do something that I am against. Like in my videos, in my videos, I talk about toxicity, viewer shaving, slurs, all that stuff. What have I done that is hypocritical? And you said that you said uh, you said in your comment has been very toxic himself on many occasions. That's what you said, on many occasions. Right. So what are so tell me about that? I have been toxic on many occasions. Correct. Right. Okay, I would let's let's get to those many occasions. Okay. When it, so. Um, there was one example, and again, I have to keep looking because. There's, it's all across so many different videos um, where, you know, you you were calling this guy um, sexist because he was body shaming a female stru uh, streamer. You remember that or do I have to go find it? Is the title of the video calling him sexist? Are you talking about the one who was... Yeah, it was, this, it was something like this sexist streamer hates women or something like, some, you know, something like that. The one where he says a whole bunch of super degrading things about her as a female and saying that she has all, all of this privilege and she's a whore. Or and she's all of this these whoa, horrible whoa, whoa, whoa. things. I didn't hear those. I didn't hear that. I don't know if that's the same video. Uh, the one I heard was he said something like, um, something body shaming, and then he might have said something like, you know, you have that many followers because you're a female, something like that. But I don't remember. I don't hear. I didn't hear and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Without you being able to. Okay. If I so if I just type in, spooking jukes. Yeah. Just put se sexist. Sexist. Yeah. Uh, there is one video. And that is the one video where he calls her a whore, a cunt, um, sits there and has his has her stream pulled up, calling her ugly. Can you imagine being a girl and a killer main? It's like every single fucking thing in your life is just easy. You, you're living on easy mode. Fucking girl Twitch streamer cringe. And the fact that she's not even all of that and she has that many viewers is... Yeah, she's ugly. Um, and then yes, makes the comment about how she's only successful because she's a woman. That, okay, okay, but, okay, okay. Now, here's the thing. I agree with you. The things like um, calling her a f that, that was totally wrong. But what I'm saying is that when you focus on certain things like the body shaming and ignore the, you know, the, the main thing, which is the actual problem, then it, 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 it opens you up to a lot of hypocrisy because great. you don't so, really do that when can, it's the other way around. Can you females doing it to men? Can, can you elaborate uh, on what do you mean by focusing on the wrong thing? Sure. Right? How come when... Um, you know, like if a man, if like if he said, you know, that she's ugly, it's body shaming. But in another video, um, one of the girls said something like, oh, he has small penis energy. But you didn't, oh, body shaming. You don't do it. You know what I mean? It's just, it doesn't add up right. In the last video, one of the recent videos I posted about Napnide, where he, she did, she called him privileged for being white and mocked his appearance calling him a dumbo looking white guy and i called out in that video this is like one of my most recent videos called her out for shaming his appearance and for like uh, judging him based on being a, a white guy that is a female that i am criticizing for those exact things right but it wasn't that video spooks you're saying that i don't do the same thing you said that i only do that to men who do it that's ridiculous well, no, I'm, I'm, I just gave you have to remember that my comment like I've been trying to get in, in touch with you for a long time. And so it goes back a year. And so saying my most recent stuff, you know, what I mean, it doesn't it doesn't change the other stuff. So you think that saying small PP energy is the same thing as having a streamer's stream pulled up on your stream looking at her face as a real person calling her ugly and making uh, comments on her appearance 
You think that saying small PP energy is body shaming to this? Like that's small PP. Yes, folks. No, it's so not. Are you now trying to say that that you know that there's different standards is what you're saying basically. You're saying it, you know women can do it, men can't basically. That's ridiculous. I've made many videos criticizing women for being toxic as well. Why can you make fun of a woman's face but not a man's penis? Like, imagine if you said, oh, she had small tits. I guarantee you'd say that was sexist. I've made many videos of women calling, making fun of men's appearances. Women streamers doing that. Well, do you have some, do you have one beside, do you have any that are like older than very recent? So your issue is you're calling me a hypocrite because a year ago, you couldn't find any videos of me criticizing a woman for making fun of a man's no, looks. You, you have to realize that it's not just that. There was the other thing too, where it's like I'll call it, I'll call this guy a racist for using the N word, but when a black dude uses it, I won't say it. Or I'll do this when a gay person does this, but not when it's, it's it adds up together, and then that's what it makes becomes the problem. A white guy using the hard R for shock value and to insult somebody is not the same thing as a black person using it as slang because of a culture difference. That is not the same thing. And okay, Spook, so now you're getting more into politics than what- You than, brought um, it up! No, I'm saying, Spooks, you can't say that some groups can say certain words and others can't. Use those same words. I think I think context is very, very important there. And context you, is, absolutely. Like are you, you say F-U-N word, that's one thing. But if you say, what's up, my N-word, and you're white, that's no different than saying, what's up, my N-word, if you're black. I disagree. I think it's a culture thing. And I don't, I think, I think part of the whole reason that that is, and I could, you know, I'm a white, you sound like a white guy, not to just judge, but I'm assuming that we're both white guys talking here. I think part of the reason that that, from what I've heard, is that people use that word in slang and alter the word is because it's, it's essentially them taking the word back and using it in a positive sense, but but altering the word. So it's like they own the word, it's their word, because it used to be a really racist remark that was used to discriminate. But now they've, you know, it's it's not it's not our word. We're fucking white guys. It has notoriously been used f by white people to discriminate against black people. So no, we should not be using any version of that word. Okay, Spooks, this is, now I'm glad we're getting somewhere because this is the exact hypocrisy we're talking about. And There's no hypocrisy. It, what do you Basically, it's the same hypocrisy that existed for centuries, which is racism is bad, but we have an excuse for it if we're black or if we're this or if we're that. When have and I ever excused racism from... You just... No, 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 no. You're saying that I won't call out racism from the other side, and that's just not true. I literally, again, in one of my most recent videos, a guy was getting fucking shamed for being white and getting judged no. for being white, and I called it out in a video. That, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean to say race. What I meant to say is is saying that certain groups like can use words and other groups can't. That, that's simply okay. not the case. To me, in my opinion, as a white guy, it's I don't have a yes. fucking I don't have a fucking say. That's you don't got to do the identity politics. You as you a white guy, just you as a man. you are bringing this. No, I okay. We don't agree on this shit. I think that we do need to separate and, and acknowledge privilege, the privilege that we have as white dudes, because we have I mean, it. I don't, but you might, you can speak for yourself. Okay. You don't know me. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to- I wanna... highly recommend though, you might want to check out some work by Dr. Thomas Soule. He's an excellent Okay, scholar. I'm not, I, 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 I don't plan on it. And you still have not given me any examples of extreme toxicity on, on my point. You have, on well, my you part. You just showed it to me. The whole, you're a white guy. You can't say this word, but a black guy can. Why would a white guy want to use that word anyway? Welcome. Okay, I, I think you're missing the It's not about why would they want to, it's about the fact that everybody is equal and that, that whole thing has been going on for hundreds of years because of pe that kind of attitude where it's, we have an excuse to behave this way, so that's why we're doing it. You're saying that black people act a certain way because they have an excuse to no, act I'm a saying, certain way? Are, what? Spooks. Are you Are you intentionally like, in misinterpreting what I'm saying to like try to make it sound like I'm, I'm saying you commented different. on a video of mine where I yes, got salt I and you said that I have been extremely toxic on multiple occasions and your example of me being toxic is saying is is my my opinion that white people shouldn't say that word which by the way I have said that word in the past I said it in DMs one time to a guy who was throwing a phrase at me and people called yeah, me and blame me for it 
Well, great. I don't, I don't. I don't care if you blame me for it or not. That's not the point. I recognize. I recognize that I shouldn't have said it because it affected people and made people upset. So I acknowledged it. I've never said it again. And if you don't care about you know upsetting people, you don't care about people's feelings. That's fine. You don't have to offend whoever I you care want. About equality, folks. I always have. <laughs> okay. So where does I? I, I want to get away from this because this is, this is again for you to call me a hypocrite would be for me to to do things that is like the opposite. people racist, yes. So, okay. So you think that anybody that I've called a racist, you don't think that I was right, is what you're saying? Oh no, most of the time you were right. Most of the okay. time you were so, right. Okay, so when have I intentionally not called out racism? When well, it was the other side? When I side. the email, SNJ, or I, I know I sent it to the wrong email, but it still didn't get. So, well, uh, I, well, I just showed you that I have no emails from you. I sent you both of my inboxes and typed in your email, and I have no emails from you. So I don't know what to tell you there. I have received no emails from you. That's fine. You might not have seen them. But either way, though, it, it's this like basically it's the same mentality with, with, with everything. It's not just the black-white thing. It's the male-female thing. It's the gay-straight thing. And it's a sort of like identity politics. Bringing... Okay, so look, great. Let's talk about let's talk about the gay straight thing. How have I treated okay. how have I treated gay people any differently than I've treated straight people? Well, let's see. How many videos have you made criticizing you know cis? What I think you'd call it cis cisphobic. Is that what you call it? Cisphobic. Okay. <laughs> So I, I don't know the word. I don't want to use the wrong word. I don't, what do you call it when <laughs> hating on straight people? What would you call that? You think that I'm hating on straight people? No, Spooks. Again, it's not you. Stop taking it. It's you. Um, Can you just answer my question? Which question? How have I treated gay people any differently than I've treated straight people on my channel? Spooks, How? In your criticism. Okay. Elaborate on that. What do you mean? Okay. Um if a straight person uses a slur, which they shouldn't, and I agree, they shouldn't, nobody should use slurs, then you make an entire video of them, slander them, whatever. But then when a gay person does it, you know, you, you, you kind of ignore that stuff and- When? It doesn't look good. When have I ever ignored so, a gay person saying a slur or being hateful? Well, that's what I'm saying, you did. When? That's, that's what I'm saying. How many videos have you made showing that even though they've been sent to you in comments? I've left comments many times and I don't, again, I don't have them now because you only gave me a couple hours to look for the everything. And so like, yeah, I'm not very prepared because I only had like an hour and I didn't know you were going to be like, okay, I'm ready now. So, so I have, so the, okay. There's multiple videos I've made about gay people acting toxic. And there's multiple videos I've made about straight people being toxic. There are multiple videos I've made of women being toxic. There are videos I've made of black people being toxic. I'm not under, are you just gonna try to make the argument of, oh, well, I've made more videos about straight people, so therefore you're a hypocrite? I make videos, no, okay. I didn't say that. Okay. You're putting words into my mouth. It's so, okay, go ahead then. My, it's, it, it's not about number of videos, it's about the behavior. I think that you should call out any kind of slur for any reason from anybody regardless of whether it's oh shit i don't want the gay community or the black community or the whatever community to come after me and think i'm not part of their cause so so how would that be the case if i have recently made videos about gay people being toxic how would that be the case in fact i made i made a video recently called fog whisper shame smaller streamer I don't know if you want to look that one up. That did, is a did video. Did you say straight shames? Did you say straight shames? Straight shames? Yeah, or cisphobic, whatever. The, the, the toxic buzzwords you like to use. Like what? homophobic, I, I, don't, racist, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know stuff. what you're saying. Are you saying that you want me to make videos about gay people being uh, discriminating against straight people? Is that what you're saying? Or you, again, Spooks, you keep trying to isolate it. I'm saying You're not you being specific. I am. I'm saying it should be as a whole. You keep saying, is it about gay? Is it about women? No, it's not about any of these individual groups. It's about anybody who does this stuff. You should be like, no, I'm not, you know, I'm going to talk about it. And if that's I'm what call... I do. That's what I've always done. But then, but you I, made video, video say, I made a video. I made a video about it. say they're wrong for doing it, but you don't say so-and-so straight shame or straight phobic or whatever. But when, when it's somebody else, you're like, they're racist or they're homophobic or whatever. And you, so you're slandering people with these words. How would I, in, in order for me to call some, in order for me to call somebody straight phobic, they would have to be 
specifically hating on somebody for being straight or using some kind of language that would insinuate that they are straight phobic. But when has that ever happened? Nobody's ever sent me a submission for that. I how, have how, spooks. When? There's nothing. I sent you proof. I typed your email address into both of my business email and my submissions email. I have nothing from you. You even told me that you didn't even send it to my submissions email, which is in... You said, I've commented on so many of your videos, yet you've never seen my submissions email and you've never sent anything there. No, I did send it to the wrong email. I will admit that was my fault. But what I'm saying, though, is that I've left them in the comments as well, too. And I know you read the comments because you finally replied to one. And uh, so so you're telling me that you've multiple times given me examples of people hating on people specifically for being straight. Yeah, I even have a specific but, example. Then, then let's go there. It was, it was, Please. Okay. What is the specific example? The specific example, it was, it was several months ago. And it was, um, it was a black female streamer and she was calling the white people male monsters like Dwight and, and those kind of characters. And I said, hey, Spooks, you know, can you do a video showing someone who's not white can be racist too to, you know, to show this isn't a one way problem. Calling them what? Male monsters, like mayonnaise monster as a reference to their white skin. Male monsters. Yes. Yeah, never saw that in any of my comments, never saw that in any of my emails. Okay, so if you're just gonna say that, then, then like, what's the point if you're just gonna say I didn't see it? Because you're you're the one who's bringing up examples where you can't show me a link or show me the actual example. Okay, I can show you the link, but Spook, that's what I was saying is that you needed to give me some time. You were just like you have and also, two hours and you have and to have also, everything. when have I ever made a video for a white streamer being racist just to like by calling uh, uh, one of the video game characters a name when? Show, name one video. Are you joking? Yeah. No, I'm not joking. One video. Didn't you call? And, and frankly, I was right. I mean, I mean, you were right in calling out. Um, uh, what's his name? What, what did you call him, Cookie? Um. Shoot. What was his name? The, kid, the What was the guy's name? Um. Who? Who? You made his voice sound all high pitched, like Mickey Mouse. Shortbread. Yeah. Yeah. Him. Um. And and you were right to call him out. Um. But. Um, you made a video over and you quoted like some of his tweets saying that those were racist, even though he wasn't using like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? See, you right there, everything that you just told me just solidifies that you don't watch the videos. I've never called shortbread a racist. He called me. No. Listen, don't, yes, don't interrupt me. Don't, no, don't interrupt me. Don't, in, don't, no, don't, multiple times. no, don't, no, no, don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Okay. I'm okay. trying to okay. talk. Thank you. That's how a debate works. You let each other speak. I brought up the examples, not from Twitter, from a Discord server of him saying the N-word multiple times. And the only reason I brought it up was, and I say this in the video, I'm not calling you a racist, Shortbread, but by your logic, Shortbread, because you're calling me a racist and saying I shouldn't be able to teach my kids anything or, or my kids shouldn't learn from me because I'm racist, by your own logic, Shortbread, you're also a racist. And then I say this in the video. So Shortbread, you have to either A, admit that neither of us are racists, or B, you have to also call yourself a racist. That's what I said in the video. So I didn't I didn't call him racist for saying the word. I, he's the one who called me a racist for saying the word, and I said that that was ridiculous. So let's just take a second to analyze Shortbread's logic here. Now this is his logic, not mine. So three times I've apologized for saying the word once. Now according to Shortbread, this one instance, even though I apologized, even though it wasn't in a uh, racist context or anything, he still says that this one instance makes me a racist person. So then by your own logic, Shortbread, the fact that you have said it multiple times, multiple countless times, and have used the word with the hard R at the end of it, what does that make you? So what are you going to do? Are you going to apologize now? Uh, because according to your standard, even if you do apologize for it, you're still a racist. So what the fuck are you even saying, dude? You make no, you, did you watch the videos? I didn't Spooks, call I did him a racist. I did not call him a racist for saying those words. I said he's a racist by his own logic for calling me racist. So that doesn't make any, what, does it, what you said makes no sense. You just brought up an example and I just shit on it. Do you have but another? You didn't. How? You were, you were, that, was, that was a different issue. That was a, uh, wasn't that the, in response to, you were talking about his Twitter, right? Where you said, I found Twitter and he used the hard R and all that. No, I brought, I showed his, one of his mods showed me his discord server where he said 
the the N word multiple times and said it with the hard R. And and again, watch the video. I said, Shortbread, I don't think you're a racist, but by your logic calling me a racist, you're calling yourself a racist. So what are you again? I never called him racist for saying the word hard R or not. I called him. I said that he has to admit being racist if he's going to call me that for saying the word one time. So again, your example doesn't hold up or make any sense because Come I didn't. On, just give me one second, because again, like I said, you didn't give me much time to prepare, and so I'm kind of having to look things up on the fly to, to get back Chat, to. Yeah, this guy says I didn't give him time to prepare when he apparently has been in my comments for over a year, calling me a hypocrite, and he's had oh, he's you've had over three oh. hours to sit here and go through shit. And after all this time going to my comments, all this time supposedly trying to get my attention for over a year, you finally get the chance to sit down and talk to me. And you said you don't have enough fucking time to prepare. What? So, you know, that, that that's disingenuous by implying that I should have had a full preparation report when I made my first comment. Come on, man. It I wasn't your first you. comment, you was it? You audacity to go into Watermelon's comments and say he was ingenious, and you don't have an example in a long video of why? Come on. I mean, I said on, he man. was disingenuous because he said I took down the video for a reason that I didn't take down the video. That is right, and I'm saying I can criticize for the same thing. That is disingenuous. That, explaining exactly how, and you didn't respond back, and you've, you used yeah, You said he was disingenuous. Like, you're basically, that's what I'm, you're, you're intentionally trying to make it seem one way when it's not that way. How so? Because you're you're pretending like I should have. You just told me that I called shortbread. Waited. You I'm just told me. Talk now. <laughs> Please. Um. So you're saying that when I left the first comment, the first time I saw something, I should have had a full preparation and a full report and ready to go with timestamps and things like that. Like, no, I was gonna wait until obviously until you said you were really new engaged, and then I was gonna, you know, go back, compiled everything I found, put it into one clear coherent argument but then you're like nope you got three hours i gotta do this and so yeah i'm a little disfragmented i did not say that with your first comment you should have been fully prepared that you're uh, according to you your comment on my video today was not your first comment you've commented according to you multiple times over the course of a year and absolutely and so if you have had this problem with me for so long and have had all these examples brewing in your brain for over a year of me being so toxic you would think that you'd be able to pull a couple out of your head and the fact that you I just can't, you, and the fact my head but th that's the thing is that you just I told me that i called shortbread a racist for using the n-word which is not true you just told a lie spooks i didn't say you called him a racist that's I said, what, what I you said, said. that you 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 told his, your audience that um, that you that that in response to him accusing you of being a racist that you said that he used the N word with the hard R. He was calling me racist for saying I the know. listen. Okay. For, for me saying the N word with an A at the end of it one time, that was his logic that I was a racist. I said that he said it, or showed proof that he said it multiple times the same way, but also used it in the way that people use for racist remarks, which is with the hard R. So if he's going to call me racist for saying it one time with an A at the end of it, but he's also said that same word over a hundred times and has used the hard R, then he shouldn't be calling me a racist. That is the point. That is the point. And you're so saying what that is I wrong? you a racist, and I'm saying I didn't. I was simply mentioning that moment to, to, to try to make an argument, and then you're like, I'm not a racist, blah, blah, blah. And, like, I don't get where that came from. I never said you called me a racist. You said that I called Shortbread a racist for using the N-word. I have it all recorded, dude. I have the whole I fucking do. thing recorded. I know you do. You said I that I called Shortbread a racist for saying the N-word. That's not at all what happened. And I yes, just explained that, that to according you. According to my, your logic, if he's calling you a racist, then he's a racist too. Yes, because by his logic, that's the, that's the truth. By his logic. How is that wrong? Right. right, and so that's what I'm saying, Spooks. I'm not saying you're a racist. I'm saying you you agreed that by Spooks, uh, by I... for using <laughs> his logic, according to his logic. Dude, his I'm logic. not saying you called me racist. You said that I called shortbread racist, and you, why did you even bring that up? Because, Spooks, you, you, like, you, it's like almost like I begin my argument, and then you want to rebut it before I can, like, kind of build it up and actually, like, make my point and get to the point. It's Please and, and so get to the almost... point. Please get to the point, then. What is the okay. point? Okay, so the point is basically... Um, Give me one sec. I gotta turn the volume down. 
Okay, so my point is basically um, that you, you, you treat other streamers very differently and very differently to um, how you expect them to treat smaller streamers than themselves. And I just, I don't get that. How? What do you mean? I, I treat different. Who do I treat differently? What do you mean by that? I'm who? Okay, so like, um, we could do like Bearbok or Modern Mountain. Like, which, like which one? Is, like, because we can only focus on one. As I said, I, I did research on a few things because I had a little time. But we can only focus on one at a time. I want to know how I'm treating people differently. And I don't care what example you use. I want to know how I'm treating people differently. Okay, that's so. Why again? Why do you call out some streamers for doing certain things, but not other streamers? I call out doing the exact same thing. I call out shit that I see or that uh, that it's sent to me if I see it. That's what I do. I I do I can't see everything, but I have called out gay people for being toxic. I've called out women and black people for being toxic. I've called out white people for being toxic. I, there's not anybody that I'm excluding intentionally at all. And I can give you. I've taken down more videos, and I have all of the examples right here. And I'd be if you have stream pulled up, I'd happy to show them to you. I've taken down more videos of straight people being toxic, privated them, got, got them off my channel, then straight people, then I have gay Wait, people. That's, that's not my argument. I'm not saying you're not taking down enough. Okay, but you're I'm saying, saying that you're I'm not treating- not up enough. I'm only able to put up what I see. And I, 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 ju I made a video about a, a gay fog whisperer who was viewer shaming people, just like Bear was, who's viewer shaming people. However, the Fog Whisperer doubled down, didn't apologize, and I also, I already hid that person's name in that video. That video is still up to this day. Less, uh, around, a, around a month ago, I made a video about an entitled TTV who is gay. And it's still up right now. It's called, it's called, is this uh, entitled TTV real or satire? Or it's called something like that. And it's a, it's a gay, Streaming. Let me ask you something then. If so, if I send you some videos showing you some some gay and black people doing some really awful things, saying some really awful things in the game, you, you'd be like, "Sure, man, yeah, I'll make that video." They did do the wrong thing. You're making it with by wording that the way you just did. You're making it seem like I'm not making videos about with gay people being toxic or black people being toxic. I mean, when I sent them, you didn't. And before you say you sent it to the wrong email, you yourself said you didn't have the submission in the other video. And because I asked you if you could unprivate it so I could check, you said no. And then I also typed your email into my business email and sent you proof that I have no emails from you. Right, so it was probably deleted. It was either deleted or sent to spam because I don't like that's not my submissions email. And I and and back then I did I did have a submissions email because back then I had the top five salt series, which is when I started that email. So I didn't have it in that particular uh, description because back then I took submissions for the top five salt series. And that video was not a top five salt series. That was a TTV police video, which I took almost all of those down at this point. But the Matthew Santoro one, there was another one with a straight white guy um, uh, saying that he hopes that I get ass cancer and then was telling other people he hopes they get cancer. That was a straight white guy. Took that video down as well. That was another TTV police video. Took it down because it showed his name in the video. So I took it down. So you focus on, on like the lighter stuff? No, I took those videos down because their names were showing in the video or because they changed, like in Matthew Santoro's case. He apologized, he changed his ways for months, and then I took the videos down because he recognized that what he was doing and saying was wrong. Again, Matthew Santoro, straight white guy. Okay, so this just this, this doesn't make sense to me because like, you come from this totally different perspective, but... Um, what doesn't make sense? I, I, I will say I, I do have some stuff to send you, and I'll be curious to see if that turns out like it, like like you're saying it will. So let's just let's just get this straight, okay? By you saying that I have been extremely toxic on many occasions, your only yeah. your only basis of that is that you assume that I am intentionally not making videos about certain groups of people, and that's your one example. Well, you, you did say you, 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 that you said that's how the, what the case is. What? You did, remember? You said, no, black people can use the N-word. I wouldn't make a video about that, calling them racist or toxic or whatever. 
I've never made a video about a white person saying that. When have I ever made a video about a white person saying that word? Show me one video. Saying the N-word? Yeah, saying the N-word with an A at the end of it, just joshing with their pals. When have I ever done okay, that? Well, again, Spook, Not one video. You okay, hold on. Spook, calm down. I have to find it. That's why I said I wish you had given me more time to compile everything. There has not been one single video where I have called somebody out for saying the N-word with the A at the end of it in like a friendly, haha, what's up, my dude, ever. No, no, it's not in a kind of way. It's, it's at all, period. If people are using it in a hateful, insulting way, which wouldn't be with the A at the end of it, it would be with the hard R, then yeah, I'm no. going to call that a slur and you're using it hatefully, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And if you can also show me examples of black people using the hard R to fucking insult people, I w then yeah, I'll make a video about it. Hold on, give me one sec. I can't, I'm looking if it's in the old man one or the toxic racist can't handle losing one. So that's, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be boring because I got to look through all this stuff because I didn't have enough time. Uh, toxic racist can't handle losing is not about a streamer. It's about somebody who came into my stream trying to say that uh, they hate black people. They literally started typing in my chat, I hate black people, and spamming the N-word with the hard R at the end of it just to be edgy. It might be the other one then. That's what I'm saying. And what's, what is that one called? Which one? The other video. Toxic, toxic racist? Can't one. handle losing with the Nia on the front yeah. of it and a flashlight? Yeah. I'm not saying that's the one. I'm saying I'm trying to figure out which one. I've watched a lot of your videos. Suppose you have hundreds of them, and they're very long sometimes. So are your stream. And so for me to say, like, for you to say, where did I say that? And it's like, well, give, give, let me give me time to look through 800 hours of your streams. I would, I would never, personally, ever go to somebody's comment section or twitch chat or anywhere and call them out for being toxic and all this shit if i didn't already have these examples and shit ready it seems like you just blindly did it and then you're like oh i'm gonna go try to find these examples later it's like then maybe you should have found the examples and then go make your comment instead it's of like making I find the examples it just took you so long to reply that by then i had forgotten and it'd been so long okay it's my fault no, it's not your fault. It's just memory. I just don't, I don't get it. If, if, if I make videos about people treating other people shitty and I make them about straight people, uh, gay people, women, white people, black people, and I make, uh, videos about, again, the video I just made about nap night where he got shamed for being white, shamed for being white and looking privileged and got, and also got his appearance mocked, got, got told he looked like Dumbo. And oh, and oh, I, I and I make a video, and that was a fe a, f a female who did that, a, f a female VTuber who mocked and shamed this guy for being white and mocked his appearance. And I called that shit out and said it was gross in my video. And then you know he got so Nap Nine got so much support. And, and you're just saying that I treat people differently, and I just don't, I don't see it. I don't understand. I mean, I I've, I've seen it probably because I've been watching a while, but. Um, I do know that you told me that you and me as white men, we're privileged. So, I mean, I don't get that. Why like, it, it's wrong sometimes. Okay. Great. We, we can, uh, we're not going to sit here and debate our fucking definition of who is privileged and who isn't. At the bottom, we're, we're going to stick with the fact that I have not discriminated on who I make videos about or what I talk about in my videos when I have talked about white people being shamed for being white and i've called out women i've called out men i've called out white people i've called out black people i've called out gay people i've called out straight people it, like there, I mean, there's it's not i'm not holding back from any particular group of people there was somebody that i called out for being awful who was trans even and those videos are taken down now that those were like almost two years ago another ttv police I, again took the took those did you just say of course they are what no the, Oh, okay. I didn't say that. Okay. But I took those down again because I didn't hide the name. And any of those old TTV police videos where I didn't hide their name or blur their names out, I privated all of those videos. All of them. Yeah, that's fine. You can private whatever you want. 
well, again, that's what I'm saying is, but, but I'm just not seeing the discrimination or the, the cherry picking. I, I mean, I can, I can see the cherry picking. Like I'm looking at your videos right now and I, you know, and, and like, I, I'm about 95% of them are straight white men and How do you... racist, sexist, homophobic, blah, blah, blah. 95%. Yeah, like, can you show and me, you're... say, like, three videos of of you doing something, just so I can find them easier? Because, again, you have hundreds of videos. Show you three videos of what? Of what? Just the, just something that's not that. Where, where it's like, you know, here's three videos of me calling, you know, condemning racism against white people. Here's three of me condemning, you know, um, uh, sexism against men, that kind of stuff. Because you usually set like one example. Uh, have not seen any examples of sexism towards men ever sent Yelta. to me. I've not ever had that sent to me. Uh, I'm sending you three recent examples here. Okay, can you send them on Discord? Yep. So there's one where I call out a gay guy, that's recent. There's another one where I call out racism against a white person. Um, Here's a video where I call out um, a black content creator who's a hacker. Um, oh, I, I should just pull these up for chat. Well, wait, wait, spooks, spooks. This video is titled, is this entitled TTV real or satire? It's not racist against white people. It's not so-and-so racist against white people or racist at all. The word racist isn't, isn't even in there. Uh, nobody has sent me an example of somebody being racist towards white people. I don't know what to tell you. Oh my God, and again, look at the fucking video right there. Look at look at two Twitch partners harass smaller streamer. Okay, spooks. Uh, 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 it's a two two. Um, can you repeat the title again? Two Twitch partners harass smaller streamer. Okay, now now compare that title, right? Compared to say. Hold on, where's this other one? I was just looking at it. Hold on, I'm almost, I just need two seconds. Compared to like say, toxic racist can't handle losing. You know what I mean? You're, you're, you're selling an, Im an image that's not, how, that's how, not clear. I'm selling or, an or image? The, how many- this how, Texas TV and his friends harass another streamer versus two entitled- How many I mean, videos on, do folks, I- yeah, how? Yeah, that guy was a sexist, and the guy. And so in the, were these first two were racist. The entitled TTV real or satire? That why not? Why no, not? the entitled the, racist, the, the entitled like, TTV like, real or satire. He wasn't racist. That's why it's not in the. You just said he was. You said he was hitting, hating on him for being. Oh, here's a black person I called out for being racist. <laughs> That's not what I said. We can run it back. We can run it back. The example I sent you: two Twitch partners harass smaller. No, the one above that. The one above that. Yeah, that there's no racism in that. I was sending you an example of me making a video about a gay person because you were saying that I treat gay people differently. So the second one then, that was the racist one? Yeah, that's where they make a comment about him being privileged because he's white. Okay, so that's what I'm saying is, is why would you make it about white people that your title is so-and-so toxic racist? The second one is harass the smaller streamer as if, as if that's the issue because it won't draw as much attention if you say two Twitch partners racist against white person or something like that or... If, put if, the word racist in it at if all, I, if, So you're mad that I didn't put racist in the title for that one? Yes, I, I, well, I'm not mad, but I do think it's hypocritical that, that when, when it's a white male who does it, you sort of do the toxic, racist, sexist, homophobic, these really hard labels that you shouldn't be calling people on the I don't, really serious. The, survi the survivor and the toxic, the toxic racist one, uh, by the way, Chad, I'm gonna pull that up for you. I don't know that that's a fucking white person. It was somebody in my chat and on PlayStation. I don't know if they're white or not. I called them racist because they were typing, I hate black people in my chat. That's not what I'm talking about though. The two Twitch partners, that was, that was that video. That's a video, you know. Did you hear what you just said? You said that I put racist in the fucking title if it's a straight white guy. And your, your example was toxic racist can't handle losing. I don't know yeah. if that person was a white person or not. I don't, that I, was one of my examples, Spooks. You keep doing this thing where you pick one thing I say. Well, that you was say, your own. What's your other example? No, I said the other one was angry sexist survivor gets destroyed. Sexist TTB and his friends harass another streamer. It goes on and on. 
it goes on and on. There's two video. Yeah. There's two videos that have sexist in it because they were being sexist, and then you picked a, one that has racist in it because the guy was saying I hate black people, and those are and I'm. What is the issue? So, th that and, is the issue. If if a white guy says I hate black people, then the title is they're racist. But if it's if it's a black person who's saying racist things to a white person, then it's something like harasses or. The reason I the reason I titled the video is two Twitch partners harass smaller streamer is because that that in itself, in my opinion, should be the headline. The fact that it's two partnered Twitch streamers, they are partnered with Twitch, and they are in another streamer's chat harassing them and shaming them and stuff. It's way more broad and way more likely to get you know, attention and clicks, which it does. And the people who click on it and watch the video are going to see me call out the racism and the, uh, you know, judging him because he's white, which I spend a whole section of my video talking about. So I, I give the video a strong clickbait title and they click the video to watch it. And they see me saying and calling out how bad it is that they're judging this guy for being white. So you don't think two, two Twitch partners racist against smaller streamer would have would have worked? Because they were being more than just racist. And they were doing more than just harassing. Why, why does it matter which one I put in the title? If I if because I if I discuss all the issues in the video, why does it matter what the fucking title is? I still talk about it. I still press it as an issue. Because spooks, it, it draws attention away from what the main problem. The problem, for example, the problem. Here, it looks like your main problem is that they were doing harassment rather than being racist, or that um, the third one, the cheater gets embarrassed rather than what he did, or that the first one is entitlement rather than... And so people who are like, oh shit, this person's being racist against white people, they're going to ignore it because they're going to think, oh, it says something about entitlement and satire, and it must be a joke thing, and and you know what I mean? It's just the no, titles. No, no, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. There are not... There are... You said it yourself. I have hundreds of videos. You can, I yeah. bet, tell me how many videos even have racist or sexist in the title. It's, okay. it's, One, it's two, hold on, let me count. Okay. Um, three, does the, does the, the, what do you call the picture that you put in the video? Does those count? What do you mean the picture? Like when you put a picture in, for your video, what do they call it? The picture that. The thumbnail? Thumbnail, yeah. Do those, what, does what, that count what, it there? What's it? What does it say in the thumbnail? It says being racist. What? What is the title of being what, racist? What's the title of the video? Is tunneling worse than racism? That's a video. It doesn't even count for the number because you wanted me to count, so I'm counting them. No, that video doesn't count because it's talking about one of the videos that you're talking about. It's a follow-up to people saying that tunneling justifies saying black people are bad. It's. Uh, so you're doubling down on one on one viewer, but not even singling down on the other. It, I don't know, man. It leaves a bad taste in the mouth. What are you even saying? What words are are even coming out of your mouth? What? I'm doing what? Labeling people, spooks. It's La that simple. Labeling people. Yeah. Labeling if you people, if yes. if you are blatantly racist. Right. I don't have a problem calling that out, whether it's in the title or in the video itself. So then why don't you do it? What, why? I have. What do you mean? Okay, so then, then why didn't you put that in your title if you said you don't have a problem with it? You said, oh, well, I'll do it in the video with myself, but you know that that doesn't draw the same attention. And you, you just uh, oh, said you did clickbait, so I, I mean... <laughs> yeah, I think two Twitch partners harass a smaller streamer is likely to get way more clicks than the alternative title, which again, draws more people to see me talking about the issue of them shaming him for being white. So if more people are seeing me call it out, isn't that what matters? If more people are clicking the video and seeing me call it out in the video, is that not more important than putting it in the title and getting less views and less attention on it? Then why doesn't it go that both ways, Spooks? Because in the other scenario where somebody was in my chat saying I hate black people, that's what prompted me to make the video. Right, so why couldn't you title it without the word and then just say, well, you know, I, I said it in the video, I condemned it, and, you know, it was, it, I just wanted to get more views. What? You could have um, spooked. I, I don't know if you're doing this on purpose or not, but it's getting really annoying. Where you, 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 I say something and then you're like, what? As if it doesn't make sense. Like, you don't get it. You have it not, you have made 
a like one percent of sense this entire debate the entire debate you have made fucking I mean, no I may sense come from a different perspective than you but i mean you have again, you, you have could... legit said something and then have gone back and said that you said something else like you have like completely changed what you've said and used examples that then you say that that's not what you said and i'm glad that this is all recorded because it's it's Thank wild you. it is so wild and i think what i think the problem here might be that we, we come from different perspectives where you think it's sort of justified for some groups to have different privileges and and, and other groups if they have a good excuse of course they have a good excuse and for others to to not but i don't come from that perspective and so i can see okay. how like we have a class and how we view things and that's yeah. fine, but I'm just saying. Yeah, that I make. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I make videos calling out all different groups of people and don't treat them differently at all. And you know, sometimes. Yeah. No, not sometimes. I haven't sometimes, ever. Ex unless, except for the ones I sent you. What you haven't sent me anything. What have I you? Did. When? When? What? What did you send me? I I'm, told you. I'm looking I sent at it to you like I a long time ago. <laughs> okay. See, great. So you're just playing a he said, she said shit. You're saying, oh, a year ago, I sent you examples, even though they're nowhere to be found in your business email that is for sponsorships and campaigns only. I sent you uh, to your business email. I sent you these examples a year ago. And even though I showed you proof while I was streaming, by the way, just typed in your email and sent you a screenshot that there is nothing in that fucking inbox with your email. And, and you're going to keep going back to that Hail Mary, because you know that there's no way to prove whether you sent it or didn't send it. So you're going to fucking hold on to that. You're going to hold on to it for dear life because that's all you have. See, I said this is what like, you do. You always try to try to like find little ways to get these digs in to make it, you know, like look cool, cool for your followers. And then, you know, kind of like giving me like two hours to prepare everything because you knew you'd be more organized. And um, but the <laughs> truth is, I think, you know what you're doing and how you're trying to sell certain image. Cause, and I think we know that because of what you said about how, you know, I do think it's OK for black people to say use the N word. And I don't think because we're all privileged and that kind of stuff. But just for understand, most people don't come from that perspective. And so, yeah, they're going to have a problem when it's like, well, most do people don't like really No, most people do not have that view. OK, I would disagree with you very much. So if you ask most people, do you think it's OK for blacks to use the N word and not whites? They would be like, no, nobody should be using it. If we're talking about the hard R, I think everybody would agree with you. Well, yeah, I would agree with that, but that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> like, the, the whole argument, the whole conversation is ridiculous. Because there's, there shouldn't even be a conversation of, like, why, why would... <laughs> the, the reason I'm, I'm mentioning it, though, is because it shows how you, you don't really... You, you, you sort of judge every different group differently and what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do. And so it, it impacts your videos. It hasn't because, at all because it hasn't. I've still made videos about every group, regardless. And I, and this whole fucking woe is me, oh poor me, I didn't get enough fucking time to prepare is so ridiculous that is completely your fault. If you have been had this vendetta against me for years, and then you finally get the chance, and not only that, but I give you have over three hours since making that comment to go through. I mean, three hours is a lot of time, more time than it takes me to make videos and go through people's VODs and find examples of shit. So the fact that you're going to sit here and say you didn't have enough time when you've been thinking about this for over a year and you've been sending me examples for over a year and now you're going to say, I didn't have enough time to prepare. And then you're going to go so far as to say, oh, you love to throw in these little jabs so your followers think you're cool. Motherfucker, I can throw jabs because you're in my comments saying that I'm so toxic all the time on many occasions and you're such a hypocrite and this, this and that and you called shortbread a racist. Yeah, I'm going to throw in a couple digs because what you're saying doesn't make any sense and you have no actual anything to back up what you're saying at all except for, yeah, man, I did send you this stuff. Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. I did send you examples a year ago. Trust me, bro. Yeah, so I, yeah, I, I might throw a little dig or two. Absolutely. Because you've thrown plenty of digs yourself. The only problem is you can't back up any of your digs. Chad, he left the call. I'm just going to type, that's what I thought. GG easy. Oh, he blocked me too. He blocked me too. I couldn't even, I couldn't even respond. He fucking blocked me. So, I mean, listen, chat right here. I mean, God. I was trusted to defend my nation. Right here. This this video right here. Uh, we're just going to go over why what this guy said real quick. Yo, Kizzle, thank you for the five gifted. Uh, this TTV tells another streamer to jump off a bridge. Okay. This The person who said this is a black guy. 
But I don't make videos calling out this guy right here. Go throw yourself off the tallest bridge. That is a black guy that I made a video about. Okay. He also wanted to... One of his main points was that I took down this video and in... That I took down that video that I showed you at the beginning, who was a gay guy, viewer shaming people, and I took down that video because his name was showing. Yeah, I also took down this video with Manface J, a straight white guy. Um, I also took down all of these top five salt videos. So, th so this is the Matthew Santoro video, the original Matthew Santoro video. Matthew Santoro is a straight white guy. I took down that video. He's saying I only took down the other video because the guy was gay and I was giving him special privileges. Here's a video I made about a gay fog whisperer who was viewer shaming smaller streamers. Video's still up, didn't take it down. Still up. Uh, this is a video that I took down of a straight white guy. Hoping people, it says that he hopes I get cancer and other people get cancer. I took this video down again because I showed his name and I took down all those videos. You guys remember this video? Thanks, you fucking idiots! Dumb fucking reet. Yep, but you guys remember this guy? Straight white guy. This was another TTV police video that I made back in the day. Took it down. Because again, I showed his name in the video and I took down all the videos from back then. I only call out straight white guys. I treat everybody else differently. I won't call out... What about this video? Is this t this entitled TTV what, what can't be real? Like you're, you're just this is a gay guy. This the, entitled TTV real or satire. This is a gay guy. And then he talks about how I use racism in the title against white people. That's bullshit. This new video that I just posted, Old Racist Streamer Gets Banned. Welcome. Yeah, I used it in that one. This title, this one right here. Because he fucking... Hey, you knew I was in there, you little cheater. Because he mocked, cheater, cheater, he mocks the guy for being Mexican. Homo ass bag, little Mexican looking mother Yeah, I called that guy a racist. And yes, he's a white guy. Sorry. He kept bringing up this video of me putting racist in the title. You did it, Jimmy. Saying that I only call st st uh, white guys racist. I th I don't even know if this is a white person. I called them racist because he came into my chat later and was trying to say I hate black people. That was the whole reason I called this uh, this survivor I went against a racist. I don't call out racism if it's against white people, Nobody right? To call him privileged, saying, you can tell just how much privilege he has. However, in the email that Napnide sent me, he said that this comment really bothered him because he did oh. not grow up privileged at all. Oh. He grew up very poor and in an abusive household. Oh. So for them to use the color of his skin oh. to just assume he's privileged and say, oh, you're so privileged because you're a white man is pretty oh. messed up and it is racist. Here's oh, what did I, what happened? Did I just say that it was racist? To judge him for being a white guy? Damn! But I only call white guys racist. I won't call out racism if it's against white people. Man, shut the fuck up.